someone's just watching me. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video. We're doing a drive with me. I haven't done one in a very long time because I haven't had my car in a very long time. Well, that's a lie. I've had her at uni for a few weeks now. But I thought we'd do a drive with me today. A bit of a mukbang. I'm going to get, well, kind of a mukbang. I'm going to get Starbucks because I haven't eaten today. I really, 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 really need a coffee. Right, we're gonna have to turn the music off though because copyright. I asked for some assumptions on my Instagram. I actually haven't read them all yet. Usually I like to leave it as like a little surprise for myself so it's just as exciting for you guys. No, for me as it is for you. Oh, we have the most ridiculous speed bumps in this place. Uni's been very interesting recently. Obviously we are in lockdown so uh, Starbucks drive throughs have pretty much been the only thing we've done. Do you want to get out of the road, hon? She wants to get run over. Let's go. Vroom, 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 bitch. Oh, that is such a nice car. There is a massive Ferrari, like, showroom, centre, shop. I don't know what they're called. Right down here by my uni. It's making me really sad, actually, that I don't have music, so I might have to just ditch you guys in a minute and turn the music on. Fourth exit at the next roundabout. Surely that's just going back on myself. Stand. Oh, no, I need to get into this thing. She tell me from my heart. Hello, we are finally at Starbucks. I've already been in this queue for about 10 minutes and I have a feeling I'm going to be here for about another half an hour. Also, if you guys missed out, I was driving down the motorway. Massive flashing sign says car on fire. Slow down. So I slowed down. <laughs> Like, that's gonna stop me from catching on fire. I was just waiting to see a car actually on fire. Like, a full-blown, exploded car or something like that. Nope, there was just a car on the side of the road with its bonnet open. No fire, nothing, no smoke. Very disappointing. I mean, I'm glad for the whosever car it was that wasn't on fire, but like, don't tell me there's gonna be a car on fire. Also, I was kind of scared I was gonna catch on fire myself, so I did have to go in that outermost lane so that I didn't catch on fire. I think that's all I had to update you on. Haven't decided what I'm gonna get yet. I don't even know what the Starbucks festive drinks are. Let's have a look. Eggnog latte. Who, who, who drinks an eggnog latte? And their sandwich has gravy in it. That is just so not what I want. So they only have three drinks. Maybe I'll get a toffee nut latte. Or should I get a gingerbread latte? <laughs> Guys, I really want to get lip fillers. I know everyone's going to be like, don't need lip fillers. Jesus, I don't know where that came from. Firstly, that sounded like a compliment to myself by saying I didn't need them, but can you see my lips? Because I can't. Oh, I also can't drive without glasses on. I just want, right, so if anyone, can just anyone tell me how much I should get? Because everyone gets like a mill, right? And all my friends that have had lip fillers have had started with a mill and then eventually got like another mill a few months later. Again, I feel like I say now I wouldn't do that. I could just get a mill and like if it faded, well, dissolved or whatever, then that's fine. I'll just deal with it, whatever. But I also said that about dyeing my hair blonde, which <laughs> I spent far too much money on now. After the first time I said I was only going to do it once. Same with my eyelash extensions and acrylic nails which i haven't actually got for a very long time but as soon as i start getting them again i will get them all the time so am i just adding another expense to my life that i can't afford okay i need to put glasses on to be able to read this menu hi hiya hi can i get a toffee nut latte please i just found my eggs bitch pull up on the next oh my god they have them as frappuccinos as well i feel like a gingerbread frappuccino would be nice i gotta should have got gingerbread oh my god she can still hear me i forgot I was just screaming and I forget that that microphone's on all the time and she can hear me in my window, it's still open. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna see you when I've got my food bite. We're just gonna have to deal with the lighting, I'm sorry. Okay, I have my toffee nut latte. Oh, it smells like a toffee milkshake. Oh, I guess it's kind of what it is. No, it's got coffee in it. I didn't even try it yet, but I don't like it. Okay, well, it definitely tastes like a toffee nut latte. Like, that's exactly what I thought it was gonna taste like. Mm, I don't know if I prefer it to a normal latte. I feel like it's gonna be very sickly. I'm glad I did not get a bigger size. Let's answer some assumptions. Okay, a lot of these I'm not gonna answer. <laughs> You're smart as hell and really good at understanding people. Firstly, that's really cute. I think 
Yeah, I think I am actually very... Okay, firstly, I don't think I'm smart. I think in terms of, like, understanding people, I actually do think I'm very, like, in tune with people's emotions. Just from stuff that's happened in my life, like, I've just learned. So, yeah, I would say that's true. Sometimes at a cost. Your family are actually really rich and you try to hide it by being relatable. She then says, I don't think this, I love you. I love you too. I don't think I've ever, like, said my family doesn't have money. Like, my they, we definitely do. Oh, that sounds bad. We're definitely very comfortable and I have nothing to complain about in my life in terms of that kind of stuff. My dad started his own company and he's done very well for himself. So yeah, we do have money, but like it's not like an unrelatable amount of money. Like I'm not a trillionaire, like I'm not about to inherit millions of pounds. It's such an awkward topic to talk about. I don't think that's what makes people relatable. I think it's just about showing your actual personality and just not being fake on camera. Uh, you work hard and put a lot in a lot of effort into school. It doesn't come easy to you. Yeah, I don't think it comes easy to me. I think it definitely used to when I was like in primary school. I was very clever in primary school. And then GCSEs, I did work very hard for them. I did work very hard for them, but I also really wasn't in a good headspace at the time I was revising for them. And I still Still did very well so i don't know whether that was from me working hard or is it was just from me like naturally being clever i think probably a bit of both but by the time i got to my a levels down the drain i don't know where where it went like i worked really hard for my a levels as well and did nowhere near as good as i did in my gcse's obviously they're considerably harder and i'm not gonna lie i did have a few distractions during my a levels yeah i don't think i'm naturally clever anymore especially at uni oh my god like i don't feel clever at all i definitely have to work hard if i want to do well which is a shame because i used to be clever but it doesn't matter um this is a very strange you would get with a guy who just broke up with his long-term girlfriend just because you don't like her um, no, I, that's a really weird thing to do. I, that's very strange. I, I only gonna get with a guy if I like him, not if I don't like his ex-girlfriend. I don't know where this has come from. Am I missing something? Should I be really offended by this? He used to want to go to Oxbridge, interesting. Uh, no, I never really considered it properly. A lot of my friends were doing it. It was a lot of hard work. Originally, when I chose my A-levels, I thought I was gonna do medicine at university, which is obviously a very difficult course to get into and a very difficult course to actually do even when you get onto the course so doing medicine at oxbridge just seemed like a ridiculous idea so i never considered it and i just don't think i'm clever enough i mean my a level grades would not have let me in anyway so i don't know why i'm saying that and also i just don't think i could have handled the pressure you found making friends at uni easy um all of the two friends that i have yes <laughs> um no i'm joking kind of am i yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really found it that difficult. Considering like COVID and everything, I thought it was gonna be impossible and I was terrified that I was gonna have no friends and no one was gonna talk to me and I was gonna be by myself crying in my room every day, which I kind of do do anyway. But usually I have a friend there to cry with. But yeah, I think I was just really lucky in that I just met people who I just clicked with instantly. Like we are so similar. We just get on like literally from the like day I met them all. I, we got on so well. You had your heart broken by Lee one way to put it just tell me how it is <laughs> you don't enjoy youtube as much as you used to i don't mm, i don't think okay i think that's partly true i go through phases with how much i enjoy youtube sometimes i really 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 enjoy it sometimes i hate it want to quit it never do it again in my life uh <laughs> bit dramatic but there have definitely been times i mean you will have seen the gaps on my channel where i don't upload for like two months just because i don't know what i want to film i get really demotivated if i upload a video and no one wants to watch it i'm like why did i put 20 hours of my life into that video and i go through phases of the content that i'm making whether i really enjoy it and whether i don't but yeah like what i was doing when i was at school i really really enjoyed filming like school vlogs just because firstly it was what i was doing with my day anyway so it didn't feel like i was taking time out of my day to sit down and film a video which would have stressed me out because i had so much work to do that i just didn't have time for that you guys seem to really enjoy those kind of videos and i love watching them back because they've got all my friends in them and obviously i'm not at school anymore same with uni like i'm going to do another week in the life probably soon because i whenever we come out of lockdown so it's a bit interesting because i like those kind of vlogs but yeah sometimes if i just don't know what to film like during my gap year i just had no idea what to film because i wasn't doing anything if i'd been traveling i think i would have loved it i was so excited to make traveling videos during that time i really didn't like it but i think i'm kind of getting there again i mean honestly after you tomorrow and i'll probably hate youtube but right now i do like it you smoke packs i do not smoke i hate cigarettes i hate the smell of them i hate the taste of them i hate being around anyone who's smoking or has smoked if i ever had a boyfriend who smoked i well i wouldn't have a boyfriend who smoked because i could not deal with it like i genuinely hate it your body count is double digits nope 
absolutely not but if it if it was there'd be nothing wrong with that you care too much about other people's opinions <sighs> again it depends who it is like if people like people i don't know random strangers on the internet comment on my videos comment on tiktok instagram whatever i don't care i really don't care like i've never really got that much hate definitely had some it really doesn't phase me it actually makes me laugh like i kind of find it funny that people are that angry that they take the time out of their day to write me a message that i then just laugh at unless i've done something actually wrong then please call me out for it but like just making comments on people's appearance i've had a fair few of them it's just like why but people in real life who I actually know and whose opinions I value and who I care about, definitely. Like, even if I love something or love something like about myself or like I really wanna buy this or really wanna do this. If someone who's important enough to me says, that looks awful or you really shouldn't do that or that's embarrassing or something like that i mean that wouldn't be very nice and i probably shouldn't love them as much as i do if they're saying that to me but this is a hypothetical situation i probably wouldn't do it wouldn't buy it wouldn't wear it whatever it is because i think i do care too much what other people think because i doubt myself a lot okay and the last one is that i'm struggling with uni <sighs> Yes and no. I feel like I've said yes and no to every single one of these assumptions. I think I'm just very emotional right now. I don't know what's going on with my body. She's not really handling anything. I can't really stomach any food. I can't sleep. I don't know what's happening. Um, she's shutting down. We're getting a little bit better. I'm fine. No one called 999 on me. I just don't know what's going on. Like, I don't even think, it, well, obviously it is mental. You can be really sad and it will literally physically hurt your body. Like, your brain is so powerful. So I'm just trying to tell my brain that we're actually good and that we can sleep at night and we can eat a full meal and we can do our work. Work is a lot. Like, it, it's very stressful and I think because I've had a year and a half out of any kind of responsibilities like that. I think it's just a bit of an adjustment. I'm just trying to get used to like self-discipline and self-control and time management and all that kind of stuff. But it's a learning curve. We're all going to get there together. Anyways, I'm going to end this video here because I've been filming for so long. I hate, I'm going to hate myself in a few days time when I come to edit this video and it's going to take me like 10 hours because I just chat absolute rubbish out my ass. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already and i will see you guys next week with another video bye